This is a lane down to a village in Dorset called Rhyme Intrinsica from a major road. And there's basically a line of oak trees all the way along it. And the lane is sunken into the landscape, which suggests it's been here in this form for a very long period of time. Basically, before it was metalled, I ashfelted, moving the cattle and carts and goodness knows what else would have meant that there would have been erosion and runoff of water down this steep slope would have cut this lane into the uh, landscape. If you look on this verge, you'll see it's absolutely beautiful. We've got primroses. Dog's Mercury, usually thought of as a woodland plant. And we've got this definite woodland plant here, which is wood anemone. And we've got a large area of them. Wood anemone is a woodland indicator, quite a good one. So why is it here, on the edge of a lane, where it's definitely not woodland? and this is all hazel so it's very possible that once upon a time in past centuries this was woodland here's another woodland indicator and quite a good one this is a euphorbia this is wood spurge euphorbia amygdaloides I've never been here in my life before. I've zoomed past the end of the road quite a lot, but I've never actually stopped. So I don't know what I'm going to find here. Don't know whether this is wild strawberry or barren strawberry. Be nice. And I think I'll have to look it up. Barren strawberry is again an ancient wooden indicator. So this is a rope birch, maybe a relict past the colour. Stock violet. We've got a sedge there. So this is a very nice, very interesting birch. Side. A very similar one. This is early in the season. I wonder what else will come up as the season progresses. Wood anemone is commonly accepted to be a plant which doesn't do well to ground disturbance and spreads very, very slowly. And yet here it is, and lots and lots of it. that was interesting. So we've got sections of this same hedgerow a little bit further up on the brow of the hill. And here we have someone's put in a, a building fairly recently, or renovated an old building, put in access, and they planted some fairly anodyne garden variety plants. Now, I don't want to victimise anybody, I don't know these people, but it always seems to me whenever I see this gardenification that perhaps the better way to proceed would have been not to bring in topsoil, would have been to put the topsoil that was dug out to make this access back on the surface and then allowed nature to do what it does. Just keep it cut, similar to the, head, the um, banks either side, and let it recolonise naturally. And you may well have got something like this back over here. 
And now we've got the situation with all these plants, introduced species, garden varieties, all they spread along this wonderful bank either side or will they stay put? So that's something to consider especially if you're uh, looking to move into the countryside and to make your home there. I think it's a little time to settle down and give thought to how the countryside that you've settled into has evolved over many many years. Let's have another quick look at that. Just a thought.